on the job today. Exterior everything. Uh, we're doing exterior window cleaning, screen cleaning, exterior house wash. You can see the green and stuff. And a vinyl fence wash. So what I'm gonna do is wet the fence with a, just a garden hose, spray my pump up sprayer on the fence, but it dwell rinse. I'll try to show you guys how I do it. This mix is just um, a quarter gallon of SH and the rest is water and a lemonator. He's spraying me, man. Jerk. Guys, I think, you know, I see a lot of guys on YouTube doing house washing and working with SH and not wearing respirators. I think it's really important to invest in one. You know, I don't know if you, you don't really, and I'm all tangled up. You don't really think about it, but inhaling this stuff is not good for you. There's no way around it. It doesn't matter how ventilated things are. Or, you know, don't listen to the old timers who are like, I've been doing this for 20 years and I have never had a problem. Oh, you will. You're gonna get word of emphysema or COPD or something crazy. Cause you can't be breathing this stuff in. So wear a respirator, protect yourself, protect your skin. Do what you gotta do, man. Hey everyone, so I'm back from doing quite a big job today. Uh, we did exterior house wash, fence wash, exterior window cleaning, and screen cleaning. Um, I want to make this video today because we actually received over a hundred dollar tip, me and the other guy. Um, so he gave us over a hundred dollar tip and all week we've been getting big tips. You know, sometimes we got a forty dollar tip each from someone else. Um, the jobs yesterday we didn't get tipped and but they were small jobs and then yeah so we've been getting really good tips and I want to explain why we're getting these tips and what a the best example I've heard well what it is is just being extremely professional and thorough you don't just show up and you're like okay I'm gonna wash this house and they're going to have the cleanest, bestest clean house in the world. And they're always going to call me and talk and rant and rave. That's not what, that's not how you earn a reputation. So you earn the reputation by providing, by just being super professional and personable and clear and prof professional, really. Um, you can only clean a window so clean. You can only clean a house so clean, you know? And so the, the honest, the truth is, unless your competition really just sucks at doing this stuff, you guys are both cleaning the windows and stuff the same. That's the harsh reality. You're probably doing the same cleaning. But what, what people wanna pay for is a professional company that they can trust inside their home. So your competition might be some backwoods hillbillies showing up in dirty t-shirts and smoking on the break you know smoking on the job and just just splash and dash you know just just doing you know cleaning the windows don't get me wrong but you don't feel good about these people being at your house you're like damn these people are kind of sketchy that's not what people get with us you know I pull when I pull up I first thing I do is I go up to the door I introduce myself, I let them know, you know, I give them a recap, you know, hey, I'm here today to wash your house, clean your windows, what have you. Um, is that still the plan? Have you decided, did you want to, did you, you know, I, you know, I don't know, did you want to upgrade? You don't necessarily have to ask that, but what I'm getting at is you want to recap on what, what services are about to be done. And that benefits you and them, you know, it makes, it get, puts them at rest because then they know that 
you know what needs to be done and also you know what they're expecting to be done and there's no confusion um, also I explain how the job's gonna be done example window cleaning I might tell them um, Hey, so uh, you know how how this is gonna work is what I'm gonna go through is I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through I'm gonna pop all the screens out. Um, we'll get them cleaned eventually, but I want to take them all out so then all we have is the window. Um, Scott, my help, Scott Scott out there is gonna start working on the outside, cleaning the outside of the windows, and I'm gonna be doing the inside. Um, we'll get your screens clean, pop them in, and we'll be on our way. I'll touch base with you about halfway and make sure everything's good and everything's looking good and make sure you didn't have any questions and I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking we'll be here about three hours. Great, okay, blah blah blah. You know, I always ask them if they have any questions and you know, I don't take a bunch of their time and you know, I keep this stuff short, simple, to the point and you know, keep in mind you're there to work so don't sit there and draw it out too long or whatever and don't explain to them you know I'm gonna I'm gonna use a really high grade soap and uh, the windows are gonna look really good and uh, also in case you didn't know we use a water fed pole and uh, it's reverse osmosis deionized water and uh, you don't got to do all that just explain the basic process of what's going on um, yeah and don't don't be scared to conversate you know if you're in there working and you see them hanging around you and stuff don't be scared to conversate conversate try to find a way to connect with the customer um, example you can tell they really love their dog um, talk about your dog maybe you don't have a dog but someone in your family has a dog and maybe talk about how awesome their dog you know just do something to connect <sighs> And just keep it real. Keep it real. Don't be too much of a schmuck. But don't be too open and honest and opinionated. Um, just keep it professional. Keep it real. Things are going to work out good for you. Always make sure to do your door hangers. And ask before you put a yard sign in a yard. A lot of neighborhoods that you come across, they don't approve of yard signs and it's a you know and it's actually like a um it's a thing that annoys neighbors they wish you know they'll be like i wish i could let you put a yard sign up but they wouldn't even let me put a politic a politician sign up in the yard and you know and blah 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 so yeah that's a real thing sometimes they're just not allowed to put yard signs up <clears throat> so that's that you know, I know sometimes that stuff ain't fun to hear, but that's the reality, man. That's, you know, it, and that's the diff. It depends if you want to just have a business where you're just making some side cash and making money and getting by. Or if you have a vision where you want to create like a multi-million dollar business with multiple trucks on the road. You have to create a system and um, professionalism and repetition and start doing the same things over and over again and um, take note of the results you know right now I'm taking note of what we did today and I you know what we did today caused us to earn over a hundred dollar tip so we did something right so I wanted to show you this house here and this is just me networking this is another example I wanted to share because this stuff a lot of people just walk right past so my, I, I live, you know, I park my vehicles right here and in the front, and this is a neighbor of mine. You see his siding is trash. So, yesterday they were taking all the siding off and putting it back up. They took all the siding off, and then I was watching them put this dirty ass siding back up. And so I just went up, walked over. I was pulling up after work yesterday, and uh, I walked over there and I said, like, What are you guys doing? You know, and then they explained a water line had burst in there and they had the wood had rotted so they had to actually put in a whole new wall and then put the siding back up and then it's got to go and um, you know I was like hey you guys know the owner of this property because it's a it's not a house it's actually an apartment complex yeah we do and, and yeah he actually was talking to us he wanted to get this siding washed he's been meaning to contact you and I was like oh well you know go ahead and let me get his information and then they got to talk about how he has multiple properties he has a lot of properties and I actually contacted I, I left door hangers on these neighbors doors saying I'll 
it's basically my door hanger. It was just my door hanger and I wrote in Sharpie, contact me, I wanna wash your home for free. And it's because um, I'm backed up to a spot where lots of vehicles come in and go. And um, it's a bad look, a power washing window cleaning company right next to this grimy ass house. So I wanted to wash it for free. So I told him, I was like, listen, oh my God. I just almost watched a car accident happen. Dude, he almost hit a 2017 F-150. That would have been great. Um, so I told him I want to wash it for free. And this is networking 101, baby. I'm going to wash this place for free. He's going to be super happy about it. Like, Dude, this guy's awesome. What a nice thing to do. And now all of his other properties, he's going to, I'm going to be the first one he hits up. I don't got it all down, man. I don't got it all figured out, but I'm on my way. And uh, just keep practicing this stuff. It's working out, man. You know, just last week we had snow on the ground. I'm still three weeks booked out, so we're doing all right.